back to Starry Night Homestead. This is Bree. Today we thought we would show you guys how we got our chicken coop set up inside of our pallet barn. When we first got started homesteading, the first thing we did was get chicks. So like most people, chicks were the gateway for us getting started with homesteading. And we only had the knowledge of books, Facebook chicken groups, and YouTube videos to know what kind of chicken coop we needed for how we thought we wanted to raise chickens. Once we got our chicks and we built our coop that we thought we were going to really work for us, we realized that one, our coop was too small and two, we wanted to have something a little bit more stationary for our chickens as a secure place for them. So we first started out with a smaller coop that was movable, had wheels, and it wasn't designed very great, but it was able to be moved and we did move it from time to time. It only fit about 12 to maybe 15 birds and we used electric poultry netting around it to keep the birds safe, theoretically. We have neighborhood dog pressure really bad in this area and the dogs were able to get into the netting and we had several instances where chickens were killed by neighborhood dogs. So with that the case, we also had a hawk incident where a hawk came down and grabbed a young bird so we knew we wanted to build something that was stationary and something that had like a coop or like a run off of the coop and with a little protective netting. Now this was our idea at the same time we were about to get goats and so we thought hey let's put the two together. Let's build a barn, a goat barn on one side and a chicken coop on the other side and save space and money. So we, so we imagined, that's what we thought. And for most of the part, it is working. There's just some pros and some cons to doing it this way. First, let me show you the things we love about this setup for our chickens. The thing we did to divide it was we made a wall with hardware cloth. And in this wall, this hardware cloth wall, we put two gates. And the idea initially was, was because we had two flocks. We had a silky bunch and we had the main flock. And so we had the coop divided in half in the middle. And we put a removable panel, like fencing panel, in the middle of this, in the, through the coop. So we have two doors here. And they work the exact same, just one's larger than the other one. And one opens up to the bigger side, and then one would open up to the smaller side. And now that we don't have our silkies anymore, we just have our chickens open to all of the space. So we took the divider out and we just have these two doors here, which it gives you the option to change that in the future back to two sides of the coop. And with that, they both, there's two doors as well. We have two little chicken doors on in this area. Next, we have this convenient door that opens up to the chicken's nesting boxes. We uh, did this, designed it with three nesting boxes. And what we learned from our last coop is that it doesn't really matter how many nesting boxes you have, they all pick like a certain one or two that they wanna lay in. And that has been the, the same with this coop design. These three have served our up to like 24 chickens in this area well, and they've had no problems. And they tend to only lay in like one or maybe two. We have one bird in here right now. What you doing girl? Are you gonna look, give us an egg? She's thinking about it. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry, did I disturb you? <laughs> Next, one of the things that I love about this coop is it has a lot of space for roosting bars. This is one of the first one we put in and they have three levels of options that they can choose from, which if you know chickens, most of the time they all fight over the top highest roosting bar. So we will come in here in the at night and we will see most of the birds are crowded on the top and some are left to the second. And <laughs> very rarely do we see any that get to the bottom. But this is uh, lots of ample space on here. We also have extra space on the other smaller side. Huh, you went down, okay. The chicken coop also has a couple windows. We had bought these small windows just from Lowe's and put them in initially and had the idea of getting some more and putting them on the back side of our barn. And uh, when summer came and it got really hot out, we decided a small window on the back side was not going to work because we needed more ventilation and movement, air movement. With here in the south, it gets very humid, very hot, and it's just they need some more airflow. 
So we also added a big giant window on the back side of the barn. And it's not really a window, it is a repurposed screen door, glass screen door. And it was about ready to go to the dump and I got this great idea. I was like, let's just turn it on its side and make it into a window. It already has a screen in it, so we just put some hardware cloth over the outside of the door on the outside of the barn so it could protect from predators but then it just easily slides open and closed so we can close it in the winter time or if it's really raining hard and then open it in the summertime and just leave it open all the time as i mentioned before we have two doors in this side of the chicken coop and it was for we when we had two different flocks now we just have one door that is actually a manual door we just lift it and close it as we need to it doesn't have to get open because we actually have the two doors but this one is our manual door on this side and then we have an electric operated like self-operated door on the main side over here for us the dirt floor has been a main issue with our rat problem so i know if we had a solid floor we probably wouldn't have problems with the rats coming in but these rats burrow and they burrow out from out in the field and they come in and they just come up in the middle of our barn it's the most wild thing ever there'll be a hole in the middle of our barn and the rats just coming in and i think that we could resolve it if we would go ahead and like do a solid floor um, however, at this time we have not, so we have a major rat problem. And it does not matter, like we only feed our birds their amount of food per day, we, and they eat it really quick, there's no leftovers, and uh, it's not like they're picking up the leftover chicken feed or whatever, they are, it, all our feed stays inside metal bins, and that's just really not what is drawing them in. So they do, one thing that the rats do come for is the eggs that our chickens lay. And again, we pick those up. We try to be really diligent in picking those up often, but they do steal eggs quite a bit. <laughs> and um, it could just even be like dusk and they're already out stealing eggs. So that is a huge negative. The other thing about having a dirt floor is that we've had to deal with mite issues several times. And I think that the dirt floor encourages mites to be a problem. It's just more of an area that they are able to hide and harder to clean and um, keep mites away. Lastly, my last con is that the barn is hard to clean. It just straight up is hard to clean. Uh, it is a larger space, dirt floor, and the poop is just hard to manage. So then it becomes stinky, so we have a, a stinky mess to clean up. And in our next setup, I would love to have a easier clean system and that we can help control the smell and bring uh, just more convenience and cleaning. And that sums up the pros and cons of our chicken setup inside of our pallet barn. I hope this was helpful for you and maybe you found some things that might work for your guys' system and how you can do things with your chickens. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a blessed day. Good chickies.